I was astonished this morning to hear John Humphreys, who's paid £600,000 per annum by the BBC, um, interviewing Nicky Morgan. And we have the clip, so let's go to the clip and just listen to it, because it's quite amazing. There's a big political factor here, isn't there? If you're an uh, opponent, if, if this, uh, you're the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn says, yeah, this is what we're going to do. And, we, we're, and, and we're going to offer students uh, maintenance grants as well. You've got a struggle on for the youth vote in the next election. Well, I think it's a bit more sophisticated than that. I and mean, I think pretty soon after the election, uh, as far as I can remember, Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonnell both said, oh, well, we're not sure we, we, we're going to abolish it. It was all you know, a promise made in the heat of an election that they knew was absolutely unaffordable. That was Nicky Morgan, who then went completely unchallenged by John Humphreys, despite the blatant lie she'd just engaged in. At no point after the election, and this is an important point, at no point after the election, did anyone in the Labour Party row back on the promise to abolish tuition fees? It's in the manifesto. It continues to be in the manifesto. And John Humphreys, who you would think would know this quite basic political fact, right? This is a man who is supposed to be the BBC's, one of B the BBC's top interviewers, top political journalists, should have looked at Nicky Morgan and said, you are lying. And what you're doing here is you know that you probably won't be challenged on this on the show. And you can get away with you know, seeding this idea into the ears and brains of the listeners to the Today programme. Mm. And these are not the people who will be listening 45 minutes later when John Humphreys, in a very brief and very hurried aside, said, oh, well, apparently that wasn't true. He should be, if he were even halfway, basically journalistically competent. And this is important because the Today programme sets the agenda for the news cycle of Undoubtedly the Undoubtedly the most important show on radio, right? And... He is incapable of doing the basic journalistic competence of challenging her. Why is he on, there? Uh, he's there because basically he's not dead yet. I mean, I'm baffling that he's not, you know, the man should retire, really. Get Carrie Gracie in. <laughs>